Welcome back to my dev blog. Um, so the AI pathfinding system I'm using is the Godot pathfinding system. The implementation of the AI pathfinding system I'm using is from Carbage's video. Uh, it will be linked in the description below if I remember to link it. Uh, I hope I remember to link it. But anyways, the system's kind of jank. It relies on timer, but the problem I'm running into is where the AI just refuses to move. It just doesn't move when I have timer values too low. If you know why this is, please comment down below. It will help me out or contribute to the source code directly by GitHub. Um, but anyways, I have no idea what could cause this. If you know, just let me know. I I'm always open to ideas, so let me know. And while you're down there in the description, be sure to subscribe. Uh, the other thing I started working on is rewriting my gun system. I don't know if YouTube's too sensitive the words, so I'm just going to say projectile launcher system. Except it's not actually launching projectiles, it's using raycasts. I forgot to mention that in my first dev vlog. My weapon system is raycast. Uh, but anyways, the old implementation relied way too much on timers and dependencies. Didn't really like that, so I'm redoing it. Uh, it's pretty much script-based now. Uh, timer is script-based, function-based, all that. So I just have to call the function when needed. It does some fancy math. It's just subtracting some values by the delta time. And that pretty much works. I'll have a tutorial coming out soon about it. Uh, so subscribe, ring the bell for that. And if you want to take a look at the weapon code for yourself, the link will be in the description below, along with Garbage's video and that subscribe button. But, uh, that's pretty much all I worked on, so I can go ahead and move to the outro. Um, like I just said, source code's linked in the description below, along with all other pitching videos. While you're down there, if you have a button that's red, be sure to subscribe. It will turn gray. If that button's already gray, keep it gray. Turn on the bell for notifications, and if you have a thumbs up button that's not blue, then you should totally click it as well. Anyways, that's all from me for now. Fun Huber, out.